care of yours or after a lot of messing around. Still, still trying to get my head around this bloody ZVS circuit. Found some 12 volt uh, Zenas for this circuit. Got them in, as, as the picture says there. Started probing around, they had a little zapping noise. Sounds interesting. Sounds promising. That's it. Hmm, that's a tiny bit warm. Stop, so I don't know if I could pass it up. This is a one microfarad capacitor, as per what the schematic uh, diagram says. Only problem is it's not 1000 volt, it's only a 450 volt. This is a run cap from a bloody um, air conditioner pump motor. That inductor, I have no idea what bloody uh, Henry's that is. That's out of a um, computer power supply. It's cooled down, I'll go again. It sounds like a capacitor as well. Yeah, that capacitor, because it charges up and it stops. Basically how I've got this thing hooked up, I put power, so I've got the first leg there. I'm putting power here. So I'm bypassing the resistors and it's working. Power off, let it discharge that capacitor. Now bypass those resistors and it works. Hmm. Oh, I like an old play around with the capacitor and see what that does. It sounds like a capacitor is charging up and it's um, these are getting uh, uh, crowbarred and stopped working so I keep messing around with this. I've got a tiny little bit of a knife, only about bloody two millimeters long, so I'm getting somewhere. Here's my, this is a flyback out of that PC monitor. So I'll keep experimenting in the meantime, try and get this bloody circuit to work properly. Okay, if you always imagine a little, neat little box of this power supply, here's just a light box from that fridge we scrapped. Circuit packet sits in there, bolts down, handy. Works quite well, so it'll carry a um, case. Just hold the, holds everything in place, so I don't know why is that get snapped off. Alright, let's try some other experiments. Okay, have you also, I think my salt water capacitor's got a um, short on it. I was playing on this earlier before. Seems to have developed a short. Oh. Doesn't work anymore. Alright, let's try something else. Unplug safety first. Um, there's plenty of water in there. You know, that bloody corrosion has gone up this wire. Shove it up that wire and just destroy this bloody. Uh, Connector here. As you can see I cracked the bottle earlier on. Now it doesn't really do anything anymore. Right, let's plug it back in. Shouldn't affect it there. Yeah. It's not a capacitor anymore, it's shorted. Um power on. Yeah, look where the crack is. Yeah, it's carbon in that. It's short in the capacitor out. Yeah, conductive track there now. That's the end of this salt water capacitor.
There you go. Half end of the glass. That's why I saw what a pest doesn't work anymore. Hmm, doesn't seem like I'm doing anything else more than that. Alright. Power off. Give it a shake. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Thermal breakage. Thermal shock. And there you go. I completely forgot that I had that left in foil. Hmm. Arced around there. Formed a weak spot. Up power on. Arcing water. Hot there. Mm -hmm. I can do it for the surface of the water. Now, water, water is attracted to the arc. Interesting. There you go, the water's attracted to the arc. Okay, if yours, that'll be enough for now. Unplug safety first. You see what the salt and water did there as it um, evaporated, so let better clean up this mess. Thanks for watching.